Welcome back to EM, your go-to source for career advice, winning with ethical principles and Machiavellian tactics. Today, we're diving into how to handle low-balling job offers. Whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned pro, we've got the strategies you need to navigate these tricky offers with confidence and tact. We have structured this video to include important pieces of information in each section. Enjoy watching. Understanding lowball offers. A lowball job offer is one that's significantly below your expectations or the industry standard. Companies might resort to this due to budget constraints or as a tactic to test your self valuation. Let's explore how to effectively manage these offers. It's tempting to instantly dismiss a low offer, but patience can be beneficial. There's usually room for negotiation, and a swift rejection could mean missing out on a golden opportunity. Assessing and responding to the offer. Delve deeper into the offer. Look beyond the salary. Benefits and perks can significantly enhance the total compensation package's value, potentially making it more appealing than initially perceived. Begin with expressing gratitude, then smoothly transition into your counteroffer. Support your position with market data, showcasing your value to the organization. It's also crucial to stand your ground. If you detect any insincerity, or if the offer seems deceitful or significantly underestimates your worth on various fronts, it's entirely appropriate to set clear professional boundaries. Negotiation tips and the anchoring effect. Grasping the anchoring effect in negotiations is key. Your counteroffer not only serves as a starting point, but can also psychologically anchor the negotiation at a higher level. Maintain firmness on your essentials while being adaptable elsewhere. Be prepared to walk away if the final offer doesn't meet your baseline requirements. Should negotiations come to a standstill, declining politely is a viable option. If appropriate, express your continued interest in the company and your openness to future roles that align more closely with your expectations. If you've encountered numerous red flags, it's okay to withdraw gracefully, ensuring your self-worth and professionalism remain intact. Responding according to your principles, even if it means decisively turning down the offer, is crucial. Ways to handle a lowball offer, responding in kind. If you're significantly lowballed or the negotiation uncovers a lack of respect or transparency, Rejecting the offer is absolutely justifiable. Such instances might indicate potential issues with the company's culture and how you may be treated in the future. Viewing it as a bullet dodged is wise. Opting to work for an employer who fails to recognize your value from the outset could lead to ongoing disappointment. I've noticed an uptick in employer behaviors such as audacity, ghosting, and lowballing in the job market. And this isn't confined to one region. It's a trend that's crossing international borders. This includes not only instances of lowballing, but also examples where applicants are asked to prepare lengthy case studies, content that is then used by the employer for their own purposes while the candidate is ungracefully ditched afterwards. It's disheartening to see as it reflects a disregard for the time, effort, and value of applicants. Personally, I believe it's entirely justifiable in certain situations to address the counterparty directly about the inappropriateness of their approach. After all, when such negative behaviors accumulate, they contribute to a toxic job market and work environment which benefits no one. Tit for tat, we are all worse off. Assert your worth and maintain your confidence. Sometimes it's necessary to sever ties, particularly with situations or entities that don't value your contribution. In essence, some bridges are worth burning, especially if they lead to nowhere positive, to rotten hinterlands. If a sufficient number of people do this, the game will need to change for the better. Instead of a race to the bottom, we should strive to level up the yardstick. In general, we get more of the behavior we tolerate. We accept the treatment we think we deserve. We all have to play our part in getting the rules of engagement right, learning from the experience. Every negotiation is an opportunity for growth. Reflecting on the experience can sharpen your negotiation skills for future engagements. Facing lowball job offers indeed tests your negotiation prowess and professional valuation. Armed with these strategies, you can adeptly navigate such situations to your benefit. Don't forget to subscribe for more career strategies and share your negotiation experiences in the comments. Until we meet again, stay confident and negotiate wisely.